gentlemen, I don't have my keys. <laughs> All right. So the kid may or may not have gotten a whip. We have here 2015 Audi S7. Audi. Audi S7. Okay. Take a look at this thing, man. Take a look at this thing. That and black wrap. It's actually just black the car, but I put the wrap on with 3M on the front. I'm not gonna get too much into the car because I actually want to talk with you guys later on, like after the workout and after we do everything in this video because I wanna actually detail why I got this car and why I'm actually making this video because I'm not one of those people who just makes one of these videos to boast or to show off or whatever. Like I have a reasoning behind it and I wasn't even gonna make this video, but after the gym and shit, uh, I do wanna sit down and like detail everything like that. But we got a satin wrap, we got the 3M on the front basically to protect the bumper from like rock chips and shit like that. We have stage three engine kit and tuning, including upgraded R series twin turbos, trans tuning and performance exhaust. That is a mouthful. But that's like 25K under the hood. This thing stock, I think is like 570 horsepower, but now because of all that, it's just under 800 horsepower. So I went from a fucking Jeep Liberty with probably what? 150 horsepower, maybe? On a good day downhill. Worth like, <laughs> Worth like 1500 bucks to, to this. I uh, I did want to, you know, it w my other car was on the last legs. So that's kind of why I got this. And I've been working pretty hard the last five, six years. And materialistic things aren't a big thing in my life. And again, I will talk about that later on. But I did want to, you know, treat myself and hopefully get a reliable car because my other one fucking AC was broken. Uh, the engine was broken. half the time, half the time the car wouldn't even start if I'm being honest. You know, I came from the trench. We also got aftermarket rims on there. We got niche. I got a pretty good deal on this. It's like basically wholesale plus like 10%. My brother helped me out with that. So shout out my brother for helping me out with that. Team Moss, Ty Mawson, car people. Let me know what I should do to this car. I think I want maybe in something to do with the exhaust. I kind of want some side panel like on the, uh, what would that even be? side panels, maybe a new bumper, back bumper. I don't even know what to say, man. Nationals, 10 weeks out. Episode one of prep. I love you guys. Thank you. What's going on, guys? Welcome to another video. I gotta talk super loud, all right? You're fucking, dude, this is insane. They're doing work on our uh, apartment, like the balcony and shit, so I don't know if you can hear me or not, but I'm gonna eat this meal right now. Actually, physique update, because this is episode one of prep, all right, for nationals. That sound is yeah. 189 pounds I was this morning. Start prep. All right, that's physique update. Damn these fucking. You know what, God bless these guys who are working on our balcony. I'm not getting at them, but fuck. It's fucking annoying. Day one of prep for nationals. I'm gonna eat my meal. We're gonna hit the gym, but yeah. Okay, nice. But man. Uh, taking all my vitamins with meal number one. Uh, maybe in the next video, if you guys want it, I will go over all my supplements that I'm taking this time around on um, prep for nationals and shit. Cause I am incorporating a couple of different things. Like I don't even know what this is called. However you say that, this stuff. And I'm gonna be taking ashwagandha again, which is KSM 66 from huge, but I'm not gonna go over that in this video. But if you guys want me to, I'll do that in the next video and go over everything. Always take these with uh, meal number one. Now I'm gonna shower, uh, take some pre-workout. Then we are going to, I gotta get gas for my car. So I'm gonna go get gas first. And then, and then I think we're gonna hit the gym after. So I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> are you getting my face, huh? Go quick. Been having a lot of steak lately. Bought like fucking, how much is this? This is three pounds. Probably bought 20 pounds of steak yesterday. They were all on sale, so. Always buy your shit on sale. That's how you're gonna save money. Huge diet hack. If anything's on sale, buy it. It's gonna be more right now. You'll save yourself in the long run, right? Trust me, I'm a uh, financial advisor. This pre-workout has been making me absolutely go psychotic in the gym. So we're gonna do two scoops of this. 400 milligrams of caffeine. It's the new uh, chaotic cherry in the name, man. You go absolutely nuts. You go chaotic? You physically and mentally. Like, I don't even know what to think sometimes when I'm on it because I don't know if it's the pre 
or it's just me going mentally insane because of what's going on in my life. You know what I'm saying? It's I, the trend. I think it's the free. <laughs> also, uh, taking some of these magnify the new formula. It's sold out right now. They're uh, stocking it again right now, but it's sold out in like two hours. So take uh, what is it? Six caps down the hatch. Now special ingredient. I'm gonna hop behind you here. Pink Himalayan, pink Himalayan salt. Okay, for the pumps to get absolutely juicy. You guys can take creatine whenever you want throughout the day, five grams a day. Keeps the doctor away, that's what they say. I don't know who's they, but I just may. You look a little gray. <laughs> I wanna play. I just may. <laughs> uh, we're gonna down this. We're gonna take these pump caps right here. If you guys want any pre-workout or anything like this, Coterb. All right. I don't know if I'm feeling on my car right now or after the gym, but regardless, we're gonna go hit chest, shoulders, triceps right now. See you guys there. Until like probably four weeks off my show, hopefully, maybe six. Because then I don't want to hurt myself and be a fucking idiot. So. so like when you're benching, especially for you guys like watching this shit, make sure you like bring your scapula back. Think about having a pencil in between like your shoulder blades. That's how you're gonna be back exactly. If you're flat on the bench, for one, you're gonna have more range of motion. You're putting your shoulders in jeopardy because you're like you're literally flat when you're pressing, like only using your front delt. So think about having that pencil in the back of your shoulder blades. Just squeeze back and then it's gonna lessen the range of motion. It's gonna be easier to like pause on your chest and then like explode up if that makes sense. So yeah. just a quick tip, something like that. And when you're at the top, like squeeze your elbows together, you get like all the way Sam Silik and like two other guys started incorporating it back in their program, motivated me to put that in my program. I don't do any front delts besides pressing, so yeah, three by 12, something like that. Ah. Look crazy off the first one, you might have to take a video off my phone. <laughs> Very top. Like this where it aligns you with just... your yeah. So I'm like close right here, and then when I come up, I almost try and open it a little bit just to have it in line with my uh, so whatever you're Yeah. You should feel it absolutely destroy your front door. Yeah. That's all I got. This camera's fucked. I'd be upset. Speed running. Yeah. Shoulder press machine. Can't do anything. I broke my finger. Uh, can't explain why. Just playing ball hockey. Got too much in the rear. It's bad news. So we're doing shoulder press, 3x12, and then tricep extension. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
I don't even know where I want to start this if I'm being completely honest with you guys. Alright, I haven't done one of these car talks in a very long time, especially, 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 I think I say especially every time I say especially. I just want to say first and foremost, guys, that I wasn't going to make this video. I'm not the type of person to show certain things that I have or, you know, to, I don't know what the words I'm looking for right now. Like, be that type of person to show off or like just say how much better you are than, you know, uh, another person online or to show everybody online like what you got or your accomplishments. I'm not that type of person. I'm honestly the type of person to do everything in the shadows and then no more or less private and not, um, you know, as public. But the reason I wanted to actually make this video and to show you guys like the car and everything and just shit like that is that I would not be here without you guys. I would not be in this position without each and every one of you who has ever supported me in my entire life. You know, I would not be, I would not even, I don't want to say I wouldn't be here, but I don't, I honestly don't know what I would be or who I would be or my mentality or I, I actually don't. I don't understand and I can't fathom in my brain what would happen if I took a different route in life. And when it comes down to it, I owe all of you my life. I owe every single one of you who's ever liked the video, who's ever used one of my codes or code turb literally bought this vehicle right here. Okay. So if any of you ever want to ever take a ride in this vehicle, like this is our vehicle. Okay. If, if any of you see me at the gym, you want to go for a drive or you need me to pick you up or something, let like, just text me, just let me know. All right. Because again, I would not be in this position and even making this video if it wasn't for you guys. And I wasn't going to make this video. Okay. A couple of you, like I was throwing hints on like my Snapchat and shit. If you guys aren't following that, go follow the snap. Trust me. I post a lot of dumb shit on there. If I'm being honest, like it's not like a YouTube style or Instagram or anything. It's just me being like stupid. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah, let's put that back down. <laughs> I was just like throwing different pictures and shit on my, um, on my Snapchat. And then a couple of you were like, why don't you make a video on that? Why don't you show people, you know, your accomplishments? Why don't you show people what you got? Like you earned that. Right. And then I felt, I felt like I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to you know, be a sheep and show off what I got because I don't really care, right? Again, privacy for me is just a big thing in my life, especially with social media. But long story short, a couple of you guys were just DMing me and you're like, I know you don't want to be that type of guy who shows off because I would I would send a paragraph to them explaining why I'm not going to make this video. They're like, bro, just do it. Like, we all support you. We, we, we love you for, you know, helping us with certain shit in our lives, motivation, inspiration. From the bottom of my heart, I literally looked at that message, bro, and I almost cried. I'm like, if one person sends me that, I hope maybe two or three people think the same thing, you know? And if you do, I'm truly, I'm forever grateful for that. And I don't know what I did for God to bless me in this position right now to be in this position. And you know, I owe you guys all my life and I contemplated it. And I actually talked to the guy at the gym and he's like, man, just make the video, man. Like just show everybody what you did and what you, where you've come from. Like, bro, I had a Pontiac fucking G6 and a Jeep Liberty combined. Both of those cars are worth $3,500. I drove those my entire life because I never, a vehicle in my eyes has always been from plan A to plan B or from destination A to destination B, right? If it gets you from A to B, that's all you really need, right? I didn't need, uh, you know, another vehicle. I didn't need to, you know, uh, again, show off or I'm being completely honest. Like the last couple of months have been so tough on me, man. Like so tough on me, especially, especially I keep doing that, especially in the last video, man, like when I was going through prep and my life was happening and then, you know, my mom hits me with that news, man. Man, like that's just you you don't even know how much that affects a person especially when you love your mom so much man and, and how it can just affect everything you do in your day you know and then other stuff happens in your life because that's life and you lose people in your life that you truly care about and you just got to keep moving you got to use that as inspiration you know and thank god god bless my mom's okay because that was like that was probably the toughest time of my life up until this point in my life being 24 you know going through prep being super depleted and then hitting getting hit with the news that my mom had cancer you know that was just insane oh, 
So that's why I didn't want to make this video. You know, I didn't want to, I didn't want people to feel either envious or jealous or be put on this fucking pedestal for having a vehicle, you know, for having a materialistic thing that has no fucking, excuse my language, I'm swearing so much in this video right now, a materialistic thing that has no value towards my life whatsoever. I know I'm going on a tangent, I'm going back and forth on different things, but you know, those guys in the DMs, thank you, man. Thank you so much for saying those things. And, you know, I probably wouldn't have made this video if you guys didn't send those uh those messages because i could say all the different shit about it i'm not a huge car guy if i'm being completely honest but i am now i would not be i wouldn't have purchased this vehicle i wouldn't have had the financial ability or even the capability to buy this vehicle if it wasn't for you guys supporting me and i'm not an emotional person man i could count on both my hands how many times i've actually cried in my life i owe you guys my life man and if you've ever supported me loved me liked or commented or just something man just know from the bottom of my heart i i fucking love you okay i love you guys so so goddamn much and i wish i could share everything i've done with you guys like i wish i could just give every single one of you a hug why did my car just start? I know this is probably a boring part of the video too. Me just sitting in my car, but I have so much things I want to say and I would have never did prep if it wasn't for you guys. You know, I wouldn't be doing nationals if, if it wasn't for you guys. I'd be, I wouldn't be in this position in my fucking life right now if it wasn't for you guys. And I can't express that enough. And I feel like I'm a broken record and I feel like I don't want to be this, this, this person that gets put on a pedestal. I love when people, you know, use certain people online for motivation and inspiration. And that's, that's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. I want to spread the word of God. I want to spread word of discipline and just, and if you just put your head down, man, and you just do everything you possibly can 150% every single fucking time, whether that's work related, relationship related, or, you know, just anything in your life, man, like you're going to fuck up. You're going to make mistakes. I made so many mistakes where I just, I truly regret and I can't take those things back. I wish I could from the bottom of my heart. I wish I could. The only way to grow is to, is to love yourself and give yourself 150%, 250% on everything you do because you absolutely never know. You never know what you can accomplish if you actually just put your head down and drive, man. Whether you're going to the gym, whether you're working hard, whether you're working OT for your boss, whether you start up a new side gig, whether you you know, start flipping cars or whatever you're into, man. If you don't give it your all, if you don't even fucking try, how do you know what you can make of it if you don't try? There's so many people who DM me. You guys, I thank you for being vulnerable with me, by the way. But like so many people, how do I do this? How do I do that? How do I? Dude, I don't even know what I'm doing day to day still. You know, but I know if you give, if you have discipline in your life and you make shit a habit and a routine, and you surround yourself with loving, comforting people who push you, who motivate you, who inspire you, you're gonna be something absolutely phenomenal. Whatever you're doing right now, just grab the bull by the fucking horns, just hold on for dear life because there's gonna be ups, there's gonna be downs. And if I would look back five years ago in my life, driving my Jeep Liberty, 04 Jeep Liberty with 215,000 kilometers, I would have never imagined being in this car right now. I would have never imagined, let alone still having a healthy family, you know, having my mother, having, you know, people around me that I care about. And end off this video. Thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. I have probably said it a thousand times in this video, but thank you so much. Thank you for being there for me, for supporting me, for the kind words, for, for everything, man. Seriously, I don't even know what to say at this point. I've never, I don't think I've ever cried on video before. Maybe once. I don't even know if I'm going to keep this part in the video. I don't know. Anyways, like I mentioned, I'm doing nationals. That's in like 10 weeks. I go to LA in like two weeks. I hope to see some of you there at that at the uh, Young LA event. If you do, pull up, come say hi to me. Please don't give me a donut because I'm on prep. I would love that, but I just can't. <laughs> I just can't. I'm doing nationals for you guys. I'm not even the biggest. I'm not even the biggest bodybuilder, bro. I don't even want to do this. Like I like competing. I like being on that stage for that moment. But it's so hard. But that's what I'm trying to say with everything in your life. Everything's hard. Being in a relationship is hard. Being, you know, by yourself is hard. Being financially independent is hard. You know, uh, quitting your job and getting another job is hard. Moving is, is hard, man. Everything's hard. But if it was easy, everyone would do it. So we got 10 weeks to basically bring my best package I've ever brought and to compete against pro bodybuilders, considering I guess I am one. I still don't think I am in my head. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I know it was kind of a different video that I've been doing lately. But I did just want to show you guys what we got together. And thank you guys so much. Thank you. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Love you guys.